7.02 p.m. and we call the meeting to order. Um, the meeting is being broadcast live, but it will be recorded for rebroadcast. You need to ask if anyone is making a recording of this meeting. Okay. Um, first item on the agenda is a 7 o'clock continuing hearing from August 14th for Joe Martin uh, relative to Pacatauga Acres Daycare Center, 141 Auburn Street. Is there a motion to reopen? So moved. Is there a second? Mm -hmm. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So ordered. Good evening. Okay, I think we were we left this at the last meeting that some of you wanted to make a site visit. Yes, and I had already been. And in fact, uh, Dan Reich and I did make a, a site visit. Um, I believe it was the 18th, uh, the Saturday after the last meeting. And um, the Welland uh, appears as it is down in the ravine. Um, the only question we had, though, uh, it was flowing pretty well, and it, it was at, flowing at a time when we hadn't had uh, some rainfall for some period of time. So um, I just had a question whether um, it's, it's been proven that the stream is intermittent and not perennial. I think um, there was a USGS. I'm sorry, did you want to respond? No. <laughs> I think there was a USGS quadrant map um, attached. Yeah, I won't. And I don't know, but um, if it shows up, it's a difficult thing to say, but mm -hmm. if it shows up as a light blue as opposed to a dark blue, it's intermittent for the mapping, for purposes of the mapping. Mm -hmm. So if you can tell from the quadrant, mm -hmm. um, then other than that, there isn't any documentation. Right. Um, but they do, Art Allen does indicate um, that the flow for this is from upgrading its stormwater. It doesn't flow out of a wetland. Right. Right, Chef. Right. So it's right. sort of right. upgrading its sure. stormwater. Right. So. Okay. Hello, Mr. Olson. Yeah. We're just on uh, Pakachog Interest Daycare. We had a continued mm -hmm. hearing from the last time, and I know you weren't here, and I don't know whether you had an opportunity to, to watch the meeting. <laughs> I didn't. Yeah. Okay. Um, that was my only point. I had no other questions. Okay. The uh, the plan seemed to delineate the uh, conditions on site, mm -hmm. you know, accurately. So. Okay. Um, Louise, I know you went. You did not go, right? Mm -hmm. I had not chance to go. Uh, no. Sorry. The, you, have, well, you, you haven't watched the meeting, mm -hmm. so you can't participate anyway. But, okay. um, unless you wanted to watch the meeting and sign an affidavit, you did. According to the plan, it shows up like blue. Light blue. Okay, yeah. thank you, Dan. Okay. <coughs> Do you have any other questions? No. For us? No. Is there any public comment on this? Okay. Move to close. Is there a, okay, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So voted. Is there a motion? Um, I think. Sh sure. I would move that we approve the, uh, the NRAD as submitted. Is there a second on that? Second. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So All right, so we'll get our decision out to you when the next, probably tomorrow, or the first of the week. Okay, great. And we have your we have your other filing for the demolition of that building on for our next meeting on September 11th. Termination. Mm -hmm. is, it, is it the 11th? It's the 11th. Like September 11th, is it? Yes. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, great. Thank so you. we have that on. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right, thank Stay you. Seven fifteen. Good night. Okay, um, we have a little bit of time before our next hearing at 715. The bylaw regulations, um, I started reading them. I got as far as the end of the definition. Um, she wasn't really given us a draft at the last meeting. Um, I do have some corrections and stuff, but I didn't know how far any of you guys got in reviewing them. I read them all. You read them all? I did. Okay. Yeah, I and, um, I mean, there there are some um, things that need to be revised, but I think on the whole, it's uh, uh, it's close to what to, to I think what we need for a final set of regulations. So um, you've been all the way through, and I've been through 14 pages of it. Right. Um, like for example, did uh, you find anything? Everything that you we had discussed is what was what's in here. Yeah. What happened? And I actually understand what uh, the reason for it. Um, uh, since we're using the Neenum regs as our uh, template, <coughs> excuse me, template, they had a definition for freshwater wetlands 
we had decided to cross our fresh quarter and just go with Wellens, and I yeah. think that was not added to our list of definitions. I actually spoke to Sheila this afternoon about that. Okay. And so I'm sure we'll um, that'll be added in. That, that's corrected in my draft. But okay. Uh, yeah, I, in the pages that I've got through, I have, you know, I can give them to you, I have some yeah. typographical, grammatical right. things. Um, and there was one section that you referred to that I just, I couldn't find that section in the earlier part. So, but I wrote it down so we can, okay. I'll give you the first 14 pages, but, you know, if we could check and try to, you know, um, if the rest of us could Yeah, I never got a copy, so. Oh, you, you didn't? She you passed oh. it out at the he last meeting. You passed it out, I never got one. Can I email it to you? I can uh, email it to you, Chuck. So, if we could, you know, if we could make it a goal to, um, to get through this so that we can oh, yeah. go over at the next meeting. Oh, that would be great. I have one in the office. I'll take your five call. Okay. I had one last week. There was no way I had time to The other thing, we had discussed uh, putting in definitions for intermittent and uh, perennial streams. And, yeah. uh, I didn't. Yeah, we didn't have that. Did no, we didn't. Neither did Nana, but I think we're going to have to get that directly from DEP. But aside from that, I think, like you say, there were some typos, but by and large, I think. Um, it uh, was pretty faithful to what we had uh, talked yeah, about. Yeah, from what I had read so far, I thought it was pretty pretty straightforward, but um, I'll just make myself a note about internet and uh, perennial streams. Okay, so we'll make every effort to wrap that up next time. Um, Sheila, you said that, I heard you say to um, the property owner on Nancy Drive earlier that you had not had a response from Phil Coyle relative Correct. to... Correct. Yeah, he was in here uh, a few agreement. days ago and he said that he was going to check on the, I, I mentioned that he wanted him to do a site visit and he said he was going to, he was pretty sure he had a contact and he was going to send okay. that information over to me, I guess. Can you follow up on that? Sure. Him, please. Okay. Um, relative to the enforcement order for Reliant Medical, has there been a reply? No, as a matter of fact, I finally just got that address. It's been extremely busy in the office. We've been short staffed, and I did just send that out today. The I checked with the collector, and they had that same address I had. Checked with the assessor to check the deed. Come to find out everyone had the wrong address, so I did get the correct one out, and I did send it out today. Certified. Okay. So hopefully we'll get a reply by the next. Yeah. And did you say at the last meeting that Gustafson Plumbing had picked he, up the certified yes, letter? He had gotten the letter, but okay. Do not respond. Okay. okay. I know we're still carrying forward under pending. We're still carrying the Campus Rec site. I don't know if there's anything left for us to carry it forward for until they can get a certificate of compliance. I mean, do we still need to carry this? Um, probably not. The only thing that's left is a certificate of compliance, so... Mm -hmm. What about an ASCO? Well, they'll need, when they request a certificate of compliance, the they'll have to submit right, that. So you want me to scratch that off? Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Um, I don't want to leave the minutes to later, but... Michael, did you tell me that you went on site... The day you and Dan went on site visits... You went to another site? We did. We went to 510 Washington Street. I actually sent everyone an email on that. That's right. And what happened was it was a situation where the owner had gone before the ZBA oh, back in 2008 for a variance. Uh, the variance was granted back in 2008, but only recently recorded uh, in in April of, uh, of this year. And one of the conditions in the, the variance was notification to us they, it basically says that the Conservation Commission approval must be obtained. And um, as I think we all know, if we all pass by, or some of us pass by um, that location at the corner of Southbridge and Church Street, they started uh, paving that lot over the summer. It's complete. There are cars parked there now, but they never um, submitted uh, an application or uh, a notice of intent or even um, a notice for determination with us applicability. So um, it was my opinion, based on, on having read the the variance, that um, we should send them an enforcement order. 
What was the address again, Mike? 510 Washington, Washington, Washington Street. It's right across from the water district. Mm -hmm. You know, in the parking lot the for the uh, Acura dealer? That's not Washington. I'm sorry, it's That's 510 South Southridge Street. Street. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, so, I'm okay with issuing an enforcement order. We just don't have it on the agenda, so we can't take a vote on it. Right. So, if we want to issue an enforcement order, as long as one of us signs it and we ratify it at the next meeting, we can do that. Um, but you can't take a vote and have the board. I understand. I thought be on the agenda for tonight. Yeah. So, um, if everyone, I mean, I, I think we've all driven or seen it. Uh, I can issue the enforcement order if you want. I'll just sign it and we'll put it on the agenda for the next meeting. We can go there, okay? Sure. I sure. just wanted to ask, is there some form to sign for that handrag? I believe there's a decision form. I'd have to look it up. Um, so I'm not, uh, yeah. There is something to issue. I'm just, it's not coming to me at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. But remind me to sign an enforcement order before I leave. Yeah. So you can get that up for that. This is yours here. That's for the next meeting. That's for, that's for, that's for the next meeting. Right. Oh, you took Dan? Mm -hmm. The other Dan? Yes. Okay, could you just pass that back up, please? I still have one more minute. Okay. Does anybody have any other miscellaneous items? Yes, I just had a question. I had a gentleman up, uh, David Meter, I believe is how you pronounce his name, on Pinrock, and he has quite an area that he has to uh, place erosion control. And he was asking me about the wattles. Is that what they're called? Strong wattles? Yeah, yeah, instead of doing the hay bales. Is that something? I, I can't remember how the, the board. Yeah. Using those? Yeah. 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 Okay. Right. right. And then you would use the silk fence also with that? I think they use waddles. I thought they used waddles with silk fence. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I'll go to my contact. Okay. It's their, the method is their choice. It's just as long as they accomplish the goal. <coughs> yeah. Okay. All right. I have 715. So um, I'm going to call to order the next hearing that we have for the Town of Auburn on another ANRAD. Um, this is relative to the proposed site for the New Auburn Middle School at 5 to 7 West Street and 780 South East Street. Is there a motion to open this hearing? So moved. Is there a second? I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So voted. Good evening. I assume someone's here to represent this. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, my name's Eric Moore. I'm a project architect with Limero Piano Associates. Uh, with me tonight also is uh, Andrea Kendall, a wetlands biologist, Mark Kimsey, building committee chairman, uh, Paul Needler, uh, the owner's project manager with uh, Skanska, um, and Matt Broussard, Limero Pagano's uh, site civil engineer with uh, Broussard Design Engineering. Um, First of all, thank you, members of the board, for having us on your agenda this evening. Um, I'm prepared to uh, to discuss the project, uh, even though it's a little premature, I know, at an ANRAD hearing. Uh, with your permission, I, uh, I'm prepared to discuss the project kind of overview, uh, because we will be moving forward with, uh, site plan, with the site plan approval process, and as part of that, we'll be submitting a uh, notice of intent uh, sometime in uh, late October. Um, so we will be moving forward, hopefully, uh, fairly quickly with, with this. Um, with that, I'll, I'll just turn things over to uh, Andrea to prepare the uh, Andrea application. Oh, thank you. Um, would you mind if I put the board up? Oh, that's on fine. Board? Sure. I'm Andrea Kimball with Mason and & Associates, and last September I delineated the wetland resource areas 
on and uh, within 100 feet of the project site. Um, as overview, uh, this is this sheet is uh, separated into uh, the, the project site separated into two sheets. But in your ANRAD application, uh, there is an aerial overview that might be helpful to to look at as as I discuss it. Um, the site is bound by Southbridge Street to the south and West Street to can the you, east. Can you come in a little closer, Chuck? I'll try. I'm in dance chairs. It's pretty. Uh, oh, I think we're in South America yoga. right now. <laughs> That's great. Um, the overall hydrologic uh, areas uh, on and adjacent to the site includes Dock Truck Brook Reservoir, the south basin, and then on the east side on uh, West Street is the um, North Basin. And this is great as we talked about this. Not bad. Perfect. Um, get this up. Okay. All right. This is the northern part of the site. And there's uh, three wetland resource areas, an isolated wetland, which according to the bylaw is a regulated feature. And then the wetlands associated with Dark Brook Reservoir. That's a fairly wooded, that's a wooded system. And then transitions around West Street uh, just into more of an open water system. And then the wetland series on the east side of West Street um, is just a little tail end of the pond just delineated to understand where the on-site 100 foot buffer falls. On the southern part of the property, um, between the Masonic parcel and then uh, next to, uh, I forget what kind of business this is, I think I have it written in there. There's a, the, a wooded system around here. There is an isolated system within the tree line. Here. Exactly. And then on the other side, next to West Street, is a Phragmites, pretty primarily Phragmites weapon system that empties in and uh, I believe it discharges uh, to the east and then flees the, the reservoir there. Um, again, just delineated to understand where the on-site buffer zone falls. Are there any questions about what I've done to the... I can go into details about what kind of wetland systems they are, if you're interested, but... I was just kind of curious. Um, one thing that struck me was I've, I've, we've all seen the proposed plans around town for months, and usually the ANRAD comes before the design work. So I was just kind of curious as to, you know, why the ANRAD now? I would have thought you would have done it before the design. The, um, as, as you know, the project didn't pass the voters until the until the uh, early in, in uh, it was June? No, May 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 twenty first. Yes. Um, and that was primarily the uh, the, uh, the reason that we that we held off on the ANRAD. We didn't know if the project was actually moving forward or not, so we uh, chose not to uh, actually begin the process. And I guess I can understand that, but then I guess that leads me into my other. Why wouldn't you just file a notice of intent and then know what it? Um, sure. I'm for sorry to say so. Um, the project, it, it, from looking at the plans, it looks like the project's been actually fairly far along, but we're really just now getting into the actual design phase. The schematic um, phase has been completed. 
and the weapon systems seem to be fairly well defined. There didn't seem to be any real gray areas about jurisdictional zones. So, so we felt pretty confident that to complete the schematic phase, we would assume locations for those resource areas. Um, we're now in the design development stage of the project. Um, when that's complete, those plans will be advanced through to the permitting phase with the town. So it's actually, we're still actually in the fairly early stages of doing actual design, um, which is why we decided to file the annual first to have to find, flesh out any issues that the commission might have in a broad sense as we move through the design phase so we can make adjustments. Okay. Um, does anybody have any questions? No. Have it, has anybody been to the site? Uh, not in a while. Not a long time, actually. Okay. I, I have not been there either. I just got my packet on Saturday, so mm -hmm. I might have an opportunity to go. Um, I think... I, well, we should I'm probably sure. take a look. Yeah, I would definitely want to take mm -hmm. a look. But, um, I'm happy to accompany anybody from the commission. I, I was just going to ask you if you might be available to do that because I think it would be beneficial mm -hmm. given that there are, you know, there are what, five areas, I think it's very red. Um, it might be more efficient use of time sure. if you are if you're able to do that. Okay. Um, I guess my other question is, if I, is the applicant willing to continue the hearing until September 11th, that's our next meeting. That really seems to be the, the, the critical thing that needs to be done is the site visit. Right? Sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, do we want to try to set something up? Do you want me to get a card and we can discuss it later and contact her about? Uh, well, why don't we discuss it now? I mean, okay. I think this weekend is probably not good for many people, if anyone, because um, of the holiday. Right. How about, Saturday weekend. How about a week from Saturday? For me, that's really just holidays. So. Um, okay. Yeah. So I can do it any time during the week. Um, uh, in the afternoons, or any really any time in the evenings, Sundays also an option. Of course, it gets depending on the time. Actually, it's not the middle just on the you know, it's on the sixth. I have seven by the commitment, but the thirteenth is the religious holiday. So you could do it sometime after work if you if you you know it would have to be fairly early though. It's getting dark now by seven thirty. Yeah. So I don't know if anyone's available. Okay. Um, I know it's difficult for Chuck to really be available mm. much before we can't really have best. Mm. How about in a week from Sunday? The 8th, 15th? No, it would be the 8th, I think. September 15th? No, the 8th. The 8th. What time? I'm sorry. I was going to say, I think it will be that tomorrow. Nine o'clock. Okay. What time can you do? Eleven. Eleven. I can do eleven. Okay. So September eighth at eleven o'clock, and we'll meet you at the site. Yeah. Okay. There's a parking lot. Okay. Um, just the September eleventh meeting. They'd have to be scheduled at seven thirty because I've already got two hearings. Alright, so is there a motion to continue to September 11th at 7.30? So moved. I'll second. Before we do that, is there any public comment? Do you folks have anything else you want to add? Okay, then it, there's a motion and a second to continue to September 8th at um, September 7.30. 11th. I'm sorry, September 11th at 7.30. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, so voted. Okay. All right, thank you very much. <coughs> Can you leave us a card in case we need to reach you? Sheila, do you have one of those continuance forms? Yes, right here, she's saying. Oh, okay, thank you.
Okay. I think I have one of those ones. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you all for coming in. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice rest of the evening. Have a nice rest of the evening. Yeah. I know. Um. Okay. The only thing I think we have left is minutes. What are you here for? No, I. Right? We just. No. Was that the day here? No, he no. was on at seven. He was on at seven o'clock. He's gone. Yeah, that's done. it. Okay. That's an old, old that? form, but we'll have to. What transpired? He has to file a notice of intent. He's coming back on the 11th of September at yeah. 7:15. Yeah, but that's not for. What? Well, we agreed to the uh, we agreed to the wetland delineation as they made it. And what he's coming back for on September 11th is a request for determination of applicability to demolish the existing structure on the site. So then he will follow that with a notice of intent for the new school, the new daycare center, whatever. What was the, what was the building? Was it the former restaurant? Yeah, yes. Frank, Frank and Nancy's. Nancy's. Yep. Okay. okay. So that's where the school is going in there. Yeah. They're yeah. going to tear it down and put up a new structure. The plan is to tear that down and put up a whole new building. Did, did, uh, they, did anyone discuss the number of students? Uh, no, no, I think that's been they discussed. Have, no, that's not something that we would. That would be something the planning board. Yeah, yeah, would, yeah. take us with this. Right. Yeah. The, the first they wanted to do the, the wetland delineation verification, and then they're going to design their project around that. Yeah. So I would suspect that they'll probably do that, and then be going to the planning board for site plan approval. Okay. Appreciate it. Thanks. You're Craig and Nancy's has been over at the corner of Southwood Street and, I mean, uh, Route 20 and South Street for quite a while. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're, oh, this is over the old Craig and Nancy's. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you meant the other. No. Yeah, the other one. 141 Arby Street. Oh, okay. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. The minutes of July 10th. Yes, thank you. Have a nice evening. Good night. Good night, Yeah, he's supposedly, somebody made plans for us, so um, I don't know. He supposedly is coming in, but I don't know when. Mm. I thought he was coming in. Mm. Unless he's just submitting us, I don't know. Adam spoke with him. Dave is to which Saturday morning. I would assume that they're thinking mm. to Saturday. Well, sure, but there's a number. I'm assuming it's a cell yeah. number for him. Yeah. Do you want to call him while we're waiting? And Not really. <laughs> well. You know, it might save you some trouble. And, um, we could give him a quick call if he answers. And see if he's coming in. If he's not, then... There's oh, no point he's coming around. in. Right, or? exactly. If, if he's coming in, then... I don't see the need for him to come in. Yeah, and, no. And I, I, and I don't think he's going on a site visit on Labor Day weekend. So. Nope. Um, um, you want to go do that while we're talking about uh, actually the problem? Do you want me to try to incorporate it with the other site visit that you're going to do, or you just probably don't know how long that's going to take? On Sunday. I don't know. Sunday at 11 o'clock. Yeah. I don't know. Um, so. My only concern is if he's coming and we're gone. That's right, I know. I'm just saying. Yeah. If you want to go call him. Yeah, I'll call him. Um, but I'm just trying to see if you want to set up a, a time to. I, I guess I don't understand the problem. I mean, um, it's well, a I guess there's some thing. big trees down there that he never cut down, and I don't know exactly. I, I don't it almost see. sounds like he needs to amend his own conditions, mm -hmm. which means reopening the public hearing. So well, I think he wanted you to come look and see what he wants to do for us. We don't give advisory opinions. Okay.
I would give him a quick call and see if he's coming. Okay. I'll call him tomorrow about whatever he wants. Okay. But there's no point in sitting around at this hour waiting for him if he's not coming. Um, I would move to approve the meeting minutes for July 10, 2013. I've got one correction. Okay. All right. I'll take a moment. I'll make a motion that we adjourn. Uh, not adjourn, but we uh, take a recess. five minute recess. Five minute sure. recess. Okay. I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Another the motion. thing I got that we'll probably have to put on the next agenda was this another revision. Arboretum, Sophia Drive. Arboretum Drive, yeah. Yeah, Sophia Drive. One Sophia Drive. Apparently, the engineer had the lot line in the wrong spot he built the house now he's going to move it 24 feet over which we had that stream coming down uh -huh. so he had given me that plan has he been before the planning board um okay i think i gave you this plan with uh, the yeah. letter yeah okay yeah. you know has he been before the planning board um, I'm not sure if he has or not. I don't think I saw it on the agenda. I think this just came up recently. Yeah. So, um... So how does that work with the planning board? Do they have to advertise a hearing to change the lot line? You know? Or does he have a variance? And he's moving the house. He's moving the house. house. He's moving the house? Yes. It's already yeah. built? Oh my God. No. We'd have to look at the site plan to see where it is. Mm. See where the site is. Yeah. Um, see. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Um, just as you were walking out the room, Dan had one change to make to your July 10th meeting minutes. Oh, and really? Okay. He was going to tell us what it was. Under 235 Leicester Street, mm -hmm. we, we, we discussed the letter. We voted mm -hmm. to send the letter. But there's no vote shown on that. Okay. At the end of the at the end of that discussion. Yeah. So I I know Mike made the motion. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I believe I seconded it. Most likely we're all, right. all in favor of it. I can check and that. Yes, and I believe there was there was no dissent. <laughs> so I think along those lines, Sheila, if you look at the the last Paragraph. The last paragraph it says the board the board recommended it should be the board vo voted that a letter be sent. Oh, that you made a motion. Sure, that's even better. Seconded by again. Yeah, and the vote was unanimous. But other than that, well, Michael had already made a motion to. I'll accept. second the motion with that correction. Okay. Is there any other discussion? No. All those in favor? Aye. All right. Opposed, so voted. July 23rd, we only had four of us here, and one of us that was here isn't here tonight. So we can't vote on July 23rd. Okay. Sheila, you just want any correction? Um, they were mine, then, for the 23rd. Sure. They were really mine. Okay. There was really more formatting than anything else. All right. On page five, two things. Just kind of, we had something in the middle with the should have been below. Okay. I actually have lots of corrections okay. on those from before. I, you may have made some of these on your revised version, but okay. since you can't vote on them anyway. Um, can you reach that? No, but the... And then August... Thank, thank you. you. Sorry. August 14th, we just got... You just revised these today, you said? Yes. No, I, I kind of changed the... Some of my sentences weren't making too much sense. <laughs> well, do you want to delay that for the next meeting? For the next meeting, yeah. that might be a good idea. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right, so hold off on 14, and hopefully um, the other day will be here so we can take care of July 23rd. Okay. That's so Mr. Wade is not coming in tonight. No, he isn't. He's not. Okay. So the chair so can contact him tomorrow. I guess I'll put this site plan on the next agenda, the Sophia. Well, if they're going to move a whole house, I, I would say we're going to have to have an amended order. Okay. It sounds like it to me, but it definitely needs to go on the agenda. Are they asking to reopen the hearing? Or? I don't know, you just brought the plan in. He being who? 
um, Big, Steve Gallo. It says here they consider it minor plan modifications. So, and it might be. You know, the fact that they have to move the house doesn't mean that it's going to have that, that great impact on the wetlands. So, or would it be nice to know where the original was in relation to the wetlands so right. you could say? Well, I think, Sheila, you can pull the, um, the filing, right? Oh, yeah. Yay. Okay. Do you guys have a provision? I mean, that's something the planning board does. They decide it's a minor revision and they just do it. Does conservation have that, or do they do you have to do the whole hearing? It depends if it's a if it's a what kind Nine. of change it is. I, yeah. mean, I don't know. Picking up the house and moving it. No, it's not like no. Twenty-four right. feet DP's closer to the wetland. Eighty-five dash one. Eighty-five dash. Yep. Eighty-five dash one will have to be. I have a copy of it, so I think it may have you know. Uh, well, but we can put it on actually one slip paper. Yep. I mean, the question is, what are they going to do with the old A? Hey, what are they going to do with the old foundation? Right. How far are they moving it? I think 24 feet. Flying there now. Wow. Does it say on here? I feel like Superman. I heard that <laughs> number. Zoom in. All right. So we have that for the next agenda, and we have that uh, enforcement order. Ratification for the next agenda. Five ten uh Did you take in one? Yes, you did. Do we want to invite Mr. Gallo to come in and explain to us what it is? Is that something that would be beneficial? I don't know. And that I'm new to the to your process. Or well, shall I say to our process, would it be helpful to have him? I here? mean it's interesting. Apparently they just they just filed this, right? So I don't yeah, think I can have it as part of the office this week. It was Monday. And there's no letter or anything with it asking well, there us to the change the plan? Or, letter from uh, well, well, there is a letter from that. I don't have that at all. So. You don't? Yeah, no. Right here. Don't have well, maybe I've got two there. You know, maybe we should send a letter to Scott Morrison and ask him, invite him to come and see us. So did he give you a plan? Yes. You, you should Just, have it. I, I don't. You don't? Well, all right. Well, maybe. Yeah, there, there it is right there. I thought this this is Mike Wade's. Yeah, no, no it, it isn't. Is. I was thinking that too, but it isn't. I'm sorry. I thought you said this was a landscape plan from Mike Wade. Uh, I don't know if I said that, but I was thinking that was the plan to Mike Wade, but it isn't. Okay, so this is Sophia Drive. Yeah. And now I have a copy of the document. Okay. Well, you can't vote on anything tonight because it's not on the, on the right. agenda. So. Well, the agenda was already brought in last Thursday. I just, I think we should just go ahead and send a lawyer to Scott Morrison. And um, have him explain why, in his opinion, this is just a minor modification. And in fact, what it says here, I mean, he, he walked this in on August, it says August 21st, but you got it today? Oh, no, I probably got it. Okay. It was the 21st. It was a week ago. It was a week ago, last Wednesday. I asked this to be placed on the agenda. Week. Yeah, the tw well, I'm saying the yeah. date was a week ago. Yeah. I asked this to be placed on the agenda for the next schedule at the Conservation Commission meeting. So he's asking for it to be put on the schedule. So let's put it on the yeah. schedule for the 11th. The 21st, what day was that, Thursday? Last, no, last Wednesday. 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 Today's the 28th, yeah. minus seven days, okay. 21. Um, I don't think that I wonder came in until Monday. Yeah, you might have mailed it and then, you know. Mm -hmm. It discusses towards the, on the second page what's, what has happened. Mm -hmm. don't, you don't date stamp things when they come in. <coughs> you don't date stamp stuff? Sometimes. Oh, it should be yeah. consistent with the well, I'll make a motion that we, that we place it on the the agenda for the 11th at 7.45, and I would like Mr. Morrison to uh, appear and uh, ask questions, to answer any questions. I'll second that. Any so discussion? Asking him to come in. Yes. We would like him to come. Scott Morrison. Yes. And we're going to give him a time for 7.45. So oh, okay. That he so we're not advertising this to reopen the public hearing and to modify the order of conditions, right? We're just having him in for an informal discussion. Yes. Is that yes. correct? Yes, yes that's correct. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Does anybody have anything else? 
Second. I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Seven. Thank you.